Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to Man Lords. So today, the main aim is going to be to get a second town established. We basically, we now have enough influence to claim. Hopefully it will go down unopposed. I'm thinking Waldbrand is going to be the area I'm going to go for. It, it is kind of bordered on both sides, which is kind of a negative, but it has these rich iron and rich stone deposits. So it's going to be a prime mining area. And with that, it means we can continue to work iron in terms of manufacturing weapons and stuff like that. And we are kind of running out of stone to some extent. We get a little bit more clay, which we'll mine. And then eventually we'll probably come over here because there's a rich clay deposit over in the, uh, in, in the far side. And that will then cover basically all of our base raw resources. So that aside, the only thing really we need to finish off over here is getting the rest of our Burgage plots up to um, numbers. We need another five of them. And I kind of discovered that if you press tab, you get this kind of like inventory overview mode, which is actually really handy. You can see your crop status, you can see who's occupying what building and what's going on there, which is really kind of nice to see. It looks like they're a little bit short on some materials over here. So, yeah, let's think about, yeah, we're actually a bit short on food, are we? We're actually suffering a little bit of an ale crisis by the looks of it. We don't really have enough. We, our food is also majoritively just getting down to bread as well. I did notice that the berry bushes have sort of come back in. Um, I might stick two people on the berry. We also did do a little herb garden down here, so we may get some herbs produced as well. But, yeah, it looks like we're starting to hit a few supply shock issues, which is not really doing us any favours. Anyway, with that going on, while we wait to... Well, essentially, we're going to have to get a harvest in of our barley to be able to do another batch of brewing. Whilst that's going on, I think we'll make the claim with our influence on Waldbrand. So, the claiming process has started. Uh, it just depends, really, whether anyone opposes it. Well, or whether the one person here opposes me. If he doesn't, we probably do need to deal with this bandit camp over here. We'll go and um, uh, wipe that thing out. Okay, there we go. Region claimed. Um, nice. Apparently can skip between different regions easily. Nice, nice, it seems we can. Who is that? I heard of some people are waiting there. Um, so we have no families there uh, as such, but we can, I believe, for money, place down a settler's camp. Um, so I guess we'll just place it here, I think is the logical place to do it, somewhere in the middle there. Different options. You can start with different towns. You have town, farming village, farming village, mining village. So that's really what would be nice to do. But I guess we'll go with the basics because all that's available to us at the moment. To bring us in a few different options. So where does that leave us? We need to obviously basically start again with the logging camp. So let's get that down. Um, and then I suppose we're completely independent in terms of the zoning for food and stuff like that, isn't it? that on the road and they can go and harvest berries. I wonder how easy it's going to be to be able to trade resources between the two regions. I suppose we also need to build housing here. It's almost like starting again, but then I guess we'll be able to transport iron and materials sort of, or the, or the byproducts at least of it, like some of the, the military equipment back and forth between the two different regions. Okay, and the forage is, is online as well now. So we'll get someone planted down there and they can do that. And then, have we started to produce much timber yet? Not massively. If we can get to six, then we can start to get some houses placed down. The first three houses placed down in our new wall brand settlement. We're also going to have to do uh, granaries, storage places. Oh, there's so much to do. And then, I suppose we need to quite rapidly get set up one of these pack stations so we get a barter connection between this and another region in your command. I think that's going to be quite an important thing. I want to build one of these in both areas, I think. Okay, so you have to barter between the different regions. So you can't exactly just send nothing back. So you could send, for example, iron ore and in return receive, I don't know, something else, some sort of food or something. I guess that's how you'd set up as a, as a, as a mining settlement as such. Whilst we're actually starting to build up in Wallbrand, we actually probably better think about dealing with this bandit camp over here, because otherwise we're just going to end up finding that to be a problem. So... Um, I think we'll perhaps just wait for this last tier 3 Burgess plot to get built and then I think we'll summon out the militia and we'll go and just deal with that bandit camp. Cheating. Hey, there we go. We have made it to a medium town. 
well, you, you start to start a lot of people to, to, to support more development than that. Anyway, I think we're going to go for the apple orchards. We need more food variety. This is supposed to be our main sort of town, and I think this is going to become more of our food region. And so I think it's worth us thinking about trying to increase the number of apple orchards we have available. So I think we might as well deal with what's left of this bandit camp over here on the outskirts of Walbrand. Um, I actually don't think there's any enemy troops left. We saw some of the AI armies march around here kind of earlier on in this world. So I think it's just kind of the remnants. So that's what I'm actually going to do is just summon our retinue and see if we can just walk them over. Because I don't think there's actually any point in rallying all the people, pulling all these people away. And these retinue don't cost as much. I, I could be wrong. And if there is more enemies there, then... Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll panic about that then. But for now, let's just wander them across. Right, where's my map gone? Elsewise, I'm really just shifting my focus towards food production. I think that is more than anything kind of what we need to do now. We're a little bit limited, obviously, by this upcoming harvest. We've got 130 days before it's, it's harvest time. Um, but that really is kind of what I want to get done. Because this is going to then hopefully help support the other region as well, which is obviously going to be the mining, the metalworking town, that sort of thing. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any, any enemies here at all. I reckon you hopefully should just then be able to just clear out this bandit camp. At least should give us some more money back for our treasury. Yes, I'll have that in my treasury, thank you. Here we go, nice. Okay, well, let's just run them all the way back home and disband them. Okay, we've got our first development point now in Waldbrand. And so this, of course, is going to be all about going into the deep mining. So we'll do charcoal burning first and then deep mining. So we're going to have to get these, of course, up to level two plots as well. So that means obviously we're going to need a church, we're going to need water. We've actually got a, um, a water well under construction. Um, fuel and some sort of clothing. So we've got quite a few things we've actually still got to deal with over here. Things are continuing to develop well now in Wellbrand. We've got our first six houses set up and we've had an extra family move in. Now just got another three placed down here and I've just been basically starting to work towards meeting some of the needs we need to accomplish for this. Essentially we're going to have to get a saw pit set up here before too long but I just wanted to make sure we've got enough food coming in. Um, we've also got to think about getting some leather at some point so that's kind of why I'm setting this hunting camp up and a few other little bits like that. So there's still quite a long way to go here before realistically we're going to be... Um, doing a lot here at World Brand, but for now we're going to continue to grow it. Over in our sort of main settlement, I'm really just trying to increase the efficiency of things. I was quite impressed actually. I left this forester's hut down here, and it actually seems to be working relatively well. So putting another one down over here because we've got a few spare families, and that'll be kind of nice to try and make the wood a little bit closer to the logging camp. We've also got been doing a bit of work to expanding the manor house, putting some towers on the outside and things like that. So they're just carrying the supplies over there. It looks like they've almost got everything they need. So before too long, that should be coming online as well. Other than that, we're stuck a little bit just sort of waiting for the harvest. Um, our bread supplies are fine, berry supplies are fine, but we're a little bit short on other types of food. Obviously, we did set up these um, orchards in the back of these houses, so hopefully they will be working well for us as well. And at least our sheep population is kind of increasing nicely. We've got 11 sheep, 2 lambs. Our wool production is now actually finally starting to step up in our main capital. We're to 19 spare yarn now. I think that's because we've got all these extra sheep in. It's sort of finally reached the point where they are actually being productive. So things are progressing along quite nicely. We've got our church now under construction. We've got our tannery up, so we're starting to produce our leather. So essentially, once this church is built, and once this leather starts to find its way really over to the market, then we should be meeting our clothing store need and our church level need as well. So we should be able to get a couple of these upgraded at least to level two. And then that should put us in a pretty nice position. And then we'll get a second development point, which we can set up for deep mining. And then hopefully we'll start to get enough spare population where we can start to produce iron. Um, and we've got a stone deposit around here as well. Okay, there we go. Our church is completed and all of these plots are now ready to upgrade. Might as well just do the lot. Okay, that's going to make the poor person who built the church have quite a long job ahead of them now. They've got six plots to upgrade, but it is probably worth it. 
Hey, looks like we've just gone up a settlement level in Warbrand, and that means we should have another development point which we can now finally put into our deep mine. Or should we go basic armour making first? We actually have quite a big iron deposit before we need to upgrade it to a deep mine. Let's go basic armour making. Um, because as that continues to get built and upgraded, we could now build a mining plot, not a stonecutter's camp, mining pit, mining pit, for the um, iron ore mine. Let's just link that up to the road. Like so. Once that gets built, um, we still got 2,300 there before we need to consider upgrading that to like one of these uh, the, the deep mine shafts. So then we can set up iron making and then convert one of these houses into um, I don't know, an armor maker. Then we can sell helmets. And those helmets, I think, is what we'll do. We'll trade them with our capital. I was having a look over at the pack station I've got completely hidden behind this tree. Uh, so we'll trade shoes for helmets, probably. If we've got them, we should have them around here somewhere. And then, because we've got quite a, a, a surplus, we've got 119 shoes here in Ica now. So we can send those shoes on um, to Waldbrow, and then we can send helmets back. And that seems like a fairly sensible thing to be doing. Okay, so it looks like our buried deposit is done for the year. So we'll strip at least one of those families off. They've got a little herb garden here, so we can kind of keep them on that. But it is pretty much harvest season. Four days to go, so we'll stick. I've just been sort of stacking spare people I can find now over on this uh, farmhouse. Looks like we're harvesting the vegetables as well, which is good. I mean, we're not exactly producing the vast quantity by the looks of it. There's currently two. Okay, looks like harvest season is now underway. So, everyone should get out and start to gather the grains and the barley so we can finally actually solve our massive ale shortage, hopefully, in our capital, because that's something that we do kind of need to deal with. Harvest chugging along nicely. Everyone busy out, getting all the grain in, getting the barley in, and that's what we need. I'm actually thinking we probably need to fallow that field this year, don't we? In which case, we probably need to quickly throw up another field fairly promptly. set that as a wheat field for this year. We'll turn this one back over to barley, I think. We'll perhaps continue to leave this one for a second year of flax, because it's not dropped that much, but this wheat field we probably do need to finish off. Well, ale production is back underway, and ale happiness, at least for now, seems to have been resolved. We'll kind of use the opportunity, probably, to try and get these remaining some plots, another five plots, up to tier three. Ah, of course, I've now gone and run out of clay tiles. That was temporarily a really good idea. <laughs> so the peasant army is out now out with their hoes. They are busy ploughing. They have got quite a lot of work to do to get all these fields prepared. Obviously, last time we didn't really... Well, we got some in, but we lost a few to winter crops. So let's kind of see how this ends up going. I was actually a little bit disappointed by the barley harvest. I was hoping to get more than that. It's given us some malt, but... You know, I don't know if that's really going to be enough for us to get quite what we want. Well, hey, well, that wall brand just went up another development level. Let's have a look. It has. Nice. I think that's because we did six of these Burgess level two blocks at once, so we managed to knock out quite a few. The, the prime little retail row of the housing. Um, and we've got a few more under construction as well. Oh, we've got to get to level three to get to the next thing. So really we've got to pick at this point what we want to commit to. I still think we'll hang on for the deep mine. Although to be honest, we do actually need some helmets, but um, I think advanced armor making probably is going to be the next thing that we want. So let's go down that route. Hey, there we go. There goes our little iron mine has finally been built, so we can now assign someone there. Obviously, yeah, we haven't got the deep mining branch yet, but hopefully if we can get another family moving in soon, then we can um, convert one of these plots into an armorer's workshop. And then we can hopefully take that iron, although we're actually we're also gonna need, we're gonna need some industry. We're gonna need this bloomery to turn the iron ore into iron first. Oh, it's like always like a never ending list of extra things that you always have to build and need. <laughs> wow, Waldbrand has some really horrible fertility. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll have to try and get some sort of element of our crop fields down over this side around here. 
So we got our next barley field down. We've got a wheat field down. They're now just doing wheat in the third uh, field. And if they get time, they'll have a go at getting this flax field in. It's just whether it's going to be too late now for the winter. It might not actually be possible. Unfortunately, the fields over here in Waldbrand are just too slow to get the farmhouse up. We'll have to try and get these planted over in spring and hopefully we can at least get a little bit of a wheat crop out of them. We've got quite a few berries, which should be fine for the winter, but um, yeah, that is something we want to end up getting sorted ultimately. And there we go, there's pretty much the flax field done. So we've got our four fields sown now in Iconau. Let's just see how it pans out. I'm not sure, not sure if we've got some of them in time or not, but we uh, certainly will give it a good go. Oh, we actually did get some apples. We got six apples out. Woohoo! <laughs> but it did say it takes three years before they really start to become very productive. So not a surprise that as of yet, they're not actually being all that productive. See, look, we're running out of barley already and it's only November. <laughs> so yeah, the barley demand for the amount of beer that needs to be drunk by a population of this size is, is kind of significant. I think probably we need to think about building a second farmhouse and starting to expand our crops down down this way. Particularly actually as barley fertility seems reasonable over here as well. So the last of the berries have gone down here as well. So we might as well strip out our forager's hut of its uh, staff member. And I think we're now going to take it on to have a go at setting up our armourer's workshop here in Morbrand. Because then we can start to import shoes and other things like that. And that at least sort of solves one of our short term problems. We're going to have to, because we're going to have ale here as well, and I don't think we actually have really any barley fertility at all in this area. So we are going to have to import ale from Iconau. And this is where I think I've been really inefficient in kind of learning how all this stuff's work in this, in this world. Because basically I've lost another year now because, well, I suppose we need to get this farm set up and a mass barley production set up to get this planted in spring essentially assuming most of these crops end up surviving the winter which which we don't know if they will or won't because we've got the snows yet still to come so yeah there's a lot to do because we're going to need a lot of barley because we're going to have to send beer from Icona over to Walbrand. so yeah lots to do and we haven't even got enough beer to maintain it in this area so yeah yeah there we go our armourer's shop has just been brought online so we can do mail, but I think initially we're just going to stick to helmets. Let's get um, basically our entire army over in Iconau equipped with helmets. Let's get some better equipment knocked out. Okay, so we've got this farmhouse set up and another two fields put in. And these are just going to be just producing barley, at least for now, because that is what we're going to be short of the most. Um, and we'll pull staff essentially in spring heavily onto this farmhouse and we'll just try and get these two planted. It looks actually like the bulk of our fields have... Ah, that flax field has failed, but this barley field's okay, that wheat field's good, and this wheat field's good. So it's all we've got to do essentially in spring is quickly plant that and then everyone on this farmhouse can essentially rush over to and work the barley fields. These, there we go, we've got six helmets knocked out. So I'm now going to assign... Well, let me just nab some of this farmhouse and we can go over to where have I lost? Oh, here's my little pack station in the middle of the fields. Uh, we can assign someone on there and we're going to send Wald brand shoes and in return we're going to receive helmets because we want the helmets over here. This is where the army is going to be based. Hey, we've actually got some helmets issued to the Archer Militia. <laughs> it's actually happened. It's a miracle. Anyway, that's kind of cool. So we're starting to get a bit of an idea of how this sort of two settlement game is going to start working between Walbrand and our capital. And then eventually, obviously, we need to set up our, our clay mining and clay tile producing place over there. So, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of a while of working out, trying to balance these two regions so that it automatically distributes the goods between the two, because it can be quite easy and quite difficult to get that, 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 that to balance out. Anyway, we're going to end this video there, otherwise this video is never going to get out today, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you all on the next one.